today I'm going to make a tie-dye top and I'm going to print a lino on this top of a mermaid. This is inspired by my granddaughters. They have been wanting lino t-shirts, but I needed to try it out first. For this project, I needed a top, so I'm using an old camisole. And that needs to go into a soak of equal parts vinegar and water to prepare the fabric to accept the dye. So I'm gonna let that soak. You're gonna need a towel. You're gonna need rubber gloves because this is kind of messy. Be sure to protect your tabletop. The uh, dyes are very, they get everywhere. You're gonna need a container to put your shirt in to let the dyes sit and a cover for your container. I'm gonna use this uh, seal wrap. To make this project, you're gonna need to buy some dyes. I bought this kit. You just go ahead and uh, follow the directions to mix the dyes. I'm trying to emulate water because I'm putting a mermaid on here. So I'm gonna use green, yellow, and blue, and I'm going to assemble it in a way that I'm hoping will look like water. All right, my shirt, my test subject has been soaking for about 10 minutes and I'm going to wring it out. And assemble it in my plastic container. Open the shirt up. Because I want it to appear to have waves, I'm gonna sort of flatten it and crunch it into the hmm. It all here. There are several ways to get it to do what I want it to do, but I work with what I have. Hmm. I'm going to crunch it up. where there's sort of lines in the middle. And because I don't want really dark colors, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the yellow because the yellow will dilute the other colors. Starting with the lightest color and I'm just gonna go back and forth because I want them to mix. I want it to be not too dark, so I'm definitely put more yellow in there to lighten up that green. And there we go, that's much better. Now I'm going to put some turquoise in there. And I hope it's not too dark. The instructions say to leave it six to eight hours. I'm going to probably leave it maybe not quite so long. But I'm going to lighten this blue up with that yellow. So I hope that I end up with what I'm looking for. We'll just have to wait and see. Because I wasn't trying to get intense colors, I didn't leave it out very long, about an hour, and I put it out in the sun and I covered it with some saran wrap type stuff 
so it could steam a little. You rinse it in cold water until your water runs clear and you're no longer leaching out color. And here it is. It's pretty light, not bad. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get an old towel and I'm going to lay it out to get any extra water off of it. And then I'm gonna put it in the dryer to set it. So my previously white camisole is now tie dyed, rinsed out, and dried in the dryer to seal. I think it turned out rather nice. I'm gonna print this lovely mermaid on my camisole as a test for the weekend project with the girls. To prepare for printing, I'm gonna to need to put something solid under the fabric so the ink won't bleed through to the back of this camisole. I have this piece of cardboard that I'm gonna put between the front and the back. My camisole is now ready to be printed on. I have the cardboard in the back, and now I'm gonna prepare the inks and ink my block. And there she is. Let's see if we can get some fish in here. 